For the CircuitPython Parsec today, I wanted to talk about how to use the built-in BME280 temperature, humidity, and pressure sensor on the Feather ESP32 S2 BME280 variant. So we have three versions of this board. In fact, let me bring up the uh, the shop here first. So if you look at this right here, ESP32 S2, we have a version with the BME280 built right on it there. That's what we're going to look at. There's also one that just has the PCB antenna, one with just the uh, antenna connector. But this one right here does everything a Feather ESP32 S2 does with 4 megs of flash, 2 megs of PS RAM. But it has a built-on sensor, and I want to show you how to use that because it is great for IoT projects where you want to get temperature and humidity in particular. Maybe you also want to get the, the pressure uh, and altitude. Uh, the way to do this, if you take a look at my code window here, I'm going to go ahead and tell this code to run. And see right now, I have every couple seconds, it will pop up the temperature, humidity, uh, pressure, altitude. I'm also telling it to show me the battery voltage uh, and the battery percentage. So this is great to throw inside of maybe a uh, storage area, or if you have a basement, you want to check the, the humidity levels and the temperature, or for 3D printing projects, if you don't want to add a bunch of sensors to an existing board, but you just want one board that you can use for uh, telling you the humidity of your filament, if you have a, a little filament dryer or that sort of thing, and the temperature. This is great for that, as well as different kinds of coffee projects. So. In setting this up, we're going to import the BME280 library. Uh, and you can see I'm also importing the battery monitor here, the MAX1704. And then I'm creating this BME280 object as the BME280 I2C over the board's I2C port. So it's just built right onto that bus, right onto the I2C bus of the, the board itself. It's not coming through STEMA QT. It's not plugged into some uh, separate pins. Then we can go ahead and just print out these values, such as temperature, humidity, pressure, altitude right here by saying BME.temperature. That's going to give you the, the temperature in Celsius. BME.relative humidity will give you a percentage. Uh, right here, it's, yeah, it's a, it's a little humid-ish, 34, 34%, uh, not terrible. Uh, so the interesting thing, though, is this is a board that's really good at getting onto Wi-Fi. So if we take a look at this code right here, it's my Adafruit IO version of the code. And I'm going to go ahead and overwrite what's running on the board right now. Uh, hit save, and it should go ahead and connect up. If you look in the REPL, it's connected to ShopNet, which is the name of my router in here, Wi Fi, connected to Adafruit IO. And that's just uh, every five seconds, or I think it's every 10 seconds, it's going to spit out the temperature and the humidity, and it's going to send those up to Adafruit IO. So if you take a look at my feed right here, I've got, uh, let me see if I can make this. Uh, screen fit a little better. Okay. Uh, you can see I have a feed and a graph and a couple of little blocks here that give me that information. So in the code, all it's doing is the same sort of stuff. It's checking that onboard sensor, but then in the main loop, when it is connected to uh, Adafruit IO, every 10 seconds, io.publish I have the name of the feed it publishes to, in this case, F for Feather, FBME temp. And then it's, again, just grabbing that BME 280 temperature and the same sort of thing for humidity, FBME humidity, BME dot humidity. And that sends that up to that feed so that I'm able to keep track of that and watch that over, over Adafruit IO. Uh, using MQTT, so you could use it with other services as well. And that is how you use the onboard BME280 sensor on the Feather ESP32 S2. And that is your CircuitPython Parsec.